Welcome back to Prey Moon Crash. We still need to head to the security workstation, but I'm still going to save that for last. We've been going around the perimeter of this place, going counterclockwise starting from over there. And we've made our way all the way to here, so there's just a couple areas to explore over there. And then I think we can head to the center. They're doing a lot of construction here. <laughs> Another skeletal repair kit. Yay! Ooh, EMP charge. That's new. Large bursts of electromagnetic energy, highly effective against robots, turrets, and electrical entities like Typhon Gates. Got a bunch of different types of grenades. Wait, what was that? I saw someone with a health bar. Appeared for like just a second. Hmm. One on top of there. Oh shit, there it is. Uh, what'd be the best thing against it? I don't know if I want to use this ammo on it. Maybe... Stun gun? It's got a very short range. Oh shit, there's two. Somewhere. I think the issue why I keep hitting them too many times so that they blow up in my face and hurt me is because I keep looking at my stamina bar. The one that appears right there, beneath the cursor. I keep looking at that as their health bar. So I keep hitting until I run out of stamina, but that's obviously not their health bar. Mineral material. First material I've gotten. A lot of explosives. Could be very handy. <laughs> Alright, I think we've made full circle now. Whoa! Can I ride you? No. They heard me! They answered my question! <laughs> Just rejected. Helium-3 filtration ratio. Suboptimal. Stand clear. Okay. Materials compartment at 100% capacity. Brutal. Just no. Alright, let's go to the center. Phantom.
I'm not sure exactly where it is, but... What should I do to kill it? I could use the shotgun, sure. I could use the glue charge, that would probably be good. Recycler charge. Oh, my kinetic blast, right. Hmm. Let's do a combination of shotgun and kinetic blast. Whoa. That is powerful. Holy crap. Favorites wheel. Um, mouse wheel. Okay, so yeah, that is the mouse wheel thing. That's the favorites wheel. Thought so. Just check it. So how many Psy Hypos do I have? Three. Yeah, Psy Blast used 20 of my Psy points. That is really powerful. Secrets? Secrets? Oh, just a weird invisible staircase. Remember when I had to whack these? To open up the secret smuggling compartments? Neuromod fabrication plan. Already. Silence pistol. No. God, I gotta remember you can't aim down sights. Yeah, no aiming down sights. Just, just fire the weapon. Remember this old trick. Requesting new operator. Oh, they should be able to repair my suit, right? Transfer Cobalt. Watch out, engineering inspector. Your suit's leaking. I'll patch that door for you. Thank you. Oh, we can view crew locations. Punch utilities. Security stations. Can be used to locate personnel throughout the Pythias moon base. Your transcribe will update and display the current location for that individual if you select them. Okay. Yep. Alright. Escape pod status. Crater, pot available. Hazardous conditions, how we doing on power, everything's powered. Radiation, nominal. Oxygen, nominal. Fire, nothing. Tram station operational. Crater. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, 
Yeah, supply closet, status, crater, storage room, Pythes Labs, trauma center. I don't understand what that means. Does that mean where the supply closet is? Hmm. Okay, anybody have life signs? How do you scroll down? F. You press F. Okay. Hmm. This one has no status. I can't locate them either. Yep, nobody with the life signs. Well, I don't have any particular reason to track down anybody at the moment. Where does that go? Looks to just end. So, let's check it out. Control module receptacles. Hmm. I guess there's no reason to mess with this right now. Everything's, everything's fine when it comes to power. I'm guessing that won't always be the case. Right. Command center or Pythias Labs. Hmm... Let's go to the labs. Oh. <laughs> well, that solves that. Oh, they allow you to see through just a little bit. Just give you a hint that, yes, the other side does exist. of a shotgun round, but eh. Volunteer test notes. Release 02A.04. Subject enters crater, 1459, low light conditions. Initial movement is tentative and uncertain. Remains near airlock for five minutes. Decides to cross crater at 1505, presumably to check other airlocks. Typhon notices subject approximately 10 meters from airlock. Subject expires moments later due to standard attack via mouth and airway. Another one. Subject enters crater 1023. Light conditions good. Subject rests on haunches with back against wall one meter from airlock. Subject does not move for approximately one hour. Remains unnoticed. At 11.37, small Typhon arrives at airlock. Tests Typhon gate. Notices subject. Subject expires moments later. Mm -hmm. Volunteers. Right, yeah, volunteers. Oh, my inventory's full. I need to find a recycler. Oh, there we go. F drops it. Yeah, let's drop the stuff I'm not using. Just clear up some room. Oh, I put it in the supply crate. Okay. Gotta remember that. That's some very valuable stuff to recycle. Oh. <laughs> There's the recycler right there. Where's my wonderful sounds of all those materials falling? I always like the plink-plonk of them. Is there anything we want to fabricate? Put a narrow mod. I'm missing natural materials or something. Yeah, five of that, four of that, eleven of that. You know, things, whatever they're called. Creepy noises. 
Uh, coagulating gel. Gel that closes wounds and stops bleeding. Very cheap to make. I don't have any reason to make it, though. I can make a turret. Hmm. Pistol bullets. No reason to make a silence pistol. I've already got one. Yeah, no reason to make anything just yet. So what's it look like up here? Oh. It just goes outside. Hello. What? Hi. Psy operators give me psy points, right? If they wouldn't float up to heaven, please come down here. Okay, then. So what do I do from up here? I guess I can't do anything. Maybe I've got to go... What's this? Server, status, slot, vault. Hmm. Um, there is one of those, like, airlocks that I can go through that isn't all corrupted. That one... Oh, yeah. Escape pod over there. Alright then. I guess I just can't do anything here yet. Scanning. Oh yeah. I had to jump to reach them. Let's head on inside. Oh. I see mimics. med pack? The thing is, my max health is only 75. Uh, do I have food? I don't. Hmm, I won't use a med pack. I love the look of this place. It's all just base is just carved out of moon rock. Whoa. Radiation, and I think it said, what was it, cystoid nest? Yeah. Right, those cause radiation. Hmm. Let's go over here first. escape pod remaining. Please evacuate in an orderly fashion. Oh, you just select the item in your inventory and then just press the number key and it'll just assign it to the thing. Okay. There. Much more sensible. All my guns on uh, one, two, three, four? Wait, that doesn't affect their placement in the favorites menu, does it? Only their placement on the number keys. Huh. Interesting. Anyway. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, that's not a cystoid nest, that's a tentacle nest. That's new. Right. Now that is a cystoid nest.
Right, they go after moving objects and explode on them. Okay. So long, as long as you don't move, you're pretty much fine. Gotta find something to throw. Oh, that's a tentacle nest. Hmm. Let's try this. It's really not that much to throw, huh? up there. Ah. Okay, those will do. Hmm. Hmm. throw the body over there. Oh, that's just wrong, though. <laughs> that accomplished nothing. Oh, that wasn't very effective at all. Right, you can shoot these pipes to make fire. Relearning so much about Bray. Bray is a really good game. I remember you could seal up those leaks with a glue gun, but I guess that's not happening. Unless I want to use a whole glue grenade on just a leak. Where do I go? Escape pod's up there, but I want to go there last. Hmm. Something down here? Maybe it just heard me from up above, because I'm sprinting, and maybe that's why I heard that, like, something sort of heard you or saw you sound. This 
supposed to be the supply closet, I think. stuff. Regolith processor. I could pick that thing up at some point if I had the strength. God, that's new. Typhon Spore spawns tentacles to attack any nearby enemies. It can be thrown or affixed to stationary objects. So, because I make them, it'll avoid attacking me? Interesting. I've got so many grenade things. When do I use them? I wonder if I should worry about the condition of my guns. I forgot how the condition stuff works. Well, I need a repairability to be able to repair them, so I just switched my weapons to the other ones that have a little bit better durability. And I'll just recycle these other ones. Ah, no plinking. I guess it's the low gravity. Disappointing. Oh shit, oh shit. How do I want to take that thing out? Uh... Shotgun wouldn't be bad. Glue charge? I could try to glue it. Nice. Um, I'm not sure about how this thing is going to arc. God, I wish I could save it before this, because I can't mess up. This really changes the stakes, having just one save. Yeah, okay, that didn't work. Um... Typhon Spore? Yeah, deal with that, asshole. Interesting. Uh, the weaver's almost dead. I don't know why it kind of like ignored me. I have no idea what that tentacle thing did. It seemed to do basically nothing. Shit! Oh fuck! If that blew up the thing I'm holding right next to my face, that is an explosive, that would have been bad. I like how it goes up to the thing that just moved. It's like checking it out. It's like, what is that? Sniff, sniff. Did that... Did the weaver die?
I guess we're safe. The whole thing was a gate. If it doesn't detect anything, then I should be fine. Yeah, I don't know how that weaver died exactly. Did the tentacles attack it? I thought they would ignore each other. Potential secrets? That's a lot of glue. feels way too easy, but maybe the first character just is easy. Oh. Right. Escaping the moon. Congratulations, you've escaped the Pythias moon base with one Transtar crew member. Eventually, you'll want to unlock all five crew members and discover all five escape routes. Escaping more than once in the same run yields increasingly larger sim points rewards. Your ultimate goal is to escape with all crew members in one go without resetting the simulation. Good luck. Escaping more than once in the same run yields increasingly larger sim points rewards. That must be the currency sim points. Hmm. So, if you don't escape with all crew members in one go, what does that do exactly? That means you'll have to reset the simulation. What does that mean? I can't imagine it would... Would it lock out the characters again? Like, would you start back at square one where you only have the one character to play as? Ah, I don't know how this works. <laughs> Sweet. I'm rich. <laughs> what do I do with sim points? Like, they must be used for something. You have a new incoming message from Basilisk exiting simulation. Basilisk to Gasmo Module 13. Copy, please. Repeating. Basilisk to Gasmo Module 13. Copy, please. Ah, oh, you're okay. Congratulations. It seems the simulation is significantly corrupted, but scans of your brain tomography indicate no damage. The corruption appears to be limited to the host operator. No externalization, so you should be fine. We've transmitted an app that should help track the simulation's instability. Please install it immediately so you're not caught unaware again. Basilisk out. Uh, installation allows for tracking of system stability while in the sim. This executable is flagged as high priority. Please install before re-entering the sim. Oh, this might be them introducing the timer. Right, they go easy on you at first. New email. Just a reminder to install the stability track app that we uploaded. Yep. I've already read this, haven't I? Yeah. Ah. So we've unlocked a new crew member. Uh, crew members can be selected from the ready room interface before entering the moon base simulation. Once you've run out of crew members, either through death or escaping, the simulation resets, creating a new incarnation of the moon base. I see. So maybe the unlocks don't reset. Maybe. But if the character dies, you can't play as them again until you do reset everything. Okay. So basically you need to escape with all five characters in, in one run if you want to get the, I don't know, I guess if you want to truly complete the DLC. So what about our sim points? Maybe we spend that here? Loadout screen. Ah, you can spend sim points to buy more starting gear, 
for your crew members. Finding fabrication plans will explore in the simulation will unlock more items you can purchase. Some points are earned when you defeat Typhon, complete Cosmo orders, or accomplish other significant tasks. Okay. Well, I've got 15,000 sim points. And a pistol's only 100. Oh, it's like razors. You pay a little bit for the razor or the pistol in this case, and you pay a lot more for the bullets. Neuromod's 4,000. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, I think I will end this episode here. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to be re-entering the simulation as Joanne Winslow.